Today we're taking full advantage of the fact that we got a beautiful heavy rain yesterday and we're planting some stuff. It may seem strange to be planting some stuff in July, but we're late on everything. And this is basically when most farmers do their second planting of a lot of these crops anyway. So we're doing some melons, some watermelons, squash, winter squash, and we've added some clover seed to each one of the pots as well to get them started and established so that we can plant them as a wonderful ground cover in our food forest. So one of the things is, is when your food forest is young like this and there's hardly any canopy or shade, you get to grow your annual vegetables underneath. But with the heat and the drought, we were really wanting something that would help our orchard. And what helps better than shading ground cover plants? And these watermelon, pumpkin, and squash will spread out all through the orchard and shade the ground and help keep that moisture in the ground. Well, those are doing really good. Can yeah. you tell us what they are, Odin? Yeah. They are watermelon and pumpkins and um, what? Maybe some other types of melon and clover. And clover. So we did these little mix pots because it was too stressful to try to plant anything in the ground. But we knew it, that we were going to lose the window of time to plant them if we didn't get them started. And we are going to pull them with my wagon. Yeah, you're going to pull them. Where are you bringing them to? Um. Not the front yard food forest. Let's go to the backyard food forest first. Okay? Okay. So we're going to plant these as an understory ground cover, basically, for our food forest. So this is just to show you that you can utilize your food forest, even in its young stages, to grow your annuals. You don't have to stick to just perennial. So we're just going to dig a hole at the base of each tree to put our plants in and see how they do. The roots are looking really good, so I want to be super careful. These plants I don't typically start from starts because they don't like to have their roots disturbed. I'm tempted to just plant this whole clump, but I really needed to divide it in half, so I'm going to do it ever so gently. So I'm not choosing where to split. I'm letting that. I'm letting the plants tell me where to split. So I just kind of pulled gently, and then I'm going to just let it fall apart where it does and that is my two different clumps I'll plant and then the boys are going the boys are going behind us and covering up the root zone with compost making sure that the plants are comfortable and stable you're doing a really good job Liam being so gentle with them Rowan is watering all of the babies very gently. Daddy's topping off any compost where it needs like it looks like it needs a little bit more. Not too deep, Daddy. It helps when you have good helpers. All right, you can put them right there. That's a good spot. Thank you. Wait, where are you going? Oh, okay, get your trowel too. What? Oh, I think it I think it might be over here actually. It's in the basket. It's in the wagon. You got a trowel. Never mind. All right, Roro. You're going to get some compost and put it on each of the root balls, okay? You too, Liam. <laughs> Come on. Get your drink of water and keep working. It's still early. We'll this will go by fast. So this just goes to show you that even before your fruit trees begin to produce for you, you can still have food growing in your food forest. It may not be the traditional fruit trees that you're expecting, but other things can grow here just as happily.